gonna keep this one short, but I ain't gonna keep it sweet. So what's going on? The official ape other side, meta land sale is happening on April 30th, and it's gonna be an ape. Those are the official details. Supposedly it's gonna be duck auction. And rumor is 300 apes starting, so about $54 right now. It hit 19.50, came down to 17.85. Good rebuy, just DCA until the sale. I don't think they're gonna sell a week before the sale. They might sell a couple days before. Sell the news. Um, remember, ape always goes up, but the question is, where will the dip be, and when will it be? Will this pull liquidity out of the market? The problem is at night, when I shine this in my face, I can't see where I'm going. I just see, see total black in front of me. The light takes my vision away. So uh, that's why you get terrible angles in these night vlogs. But if you want good angles, then I won't be able to see. I mean, I guess I can trust my instincts. I mean, I can see like 50 feet in front of me, but I can't see right ahead of me. Uh, anyway, I told you this was going to be a sour vlog. Well, I said it wasn't going to be sweet. What are the senses? Sour, salty, spicy, umami. Oh, well, guess what we got here? We got some... I hope we got umami. Umami. Uh, spicy? Want spicy? I'll tell you something spicy. You're all... Most of you will not make it, okay? But you'll survive. You'll live happy lives. I think most people live happy lives, whether they're rich or poor, they enjoy their lives. Unless they live a life of crime in and out of jail or prison, then no. But that's not most people, unless you live in El Salvador, the president, uh, Bu Bukaleli, I don't know what his name. I can't think of it off my head. He, he makes it think like everyone's a prisoner. Everyone's a criminal in El Salvador. It's probably like one in three males. I have no idea how high the criminal rate is up there. Um, what else I got? So that's the ape land sale. I mean, I, I should be an ape shill. I should work for you, Galaps. You and the Animoca. You want me to work for them? I'm working for them. I don't get paid, but I'm working for them. I'm out. You, you get angel right here. You got angel number 77. They probably got a lot of those free workers that they want the airdrops, man. You can live off those crypto airdrops in a bull run. So apes might retrace. How low will they go if a global recession happens? Uh, not like 2007, 2008, where we just had a dip and then we, reco we, reco re we recovered by late 2009. Um, I'm talking about like five to ten years recession. Uh, I doubt it's going to happen. Like, doubt it's going to be that large. Usually, the Fed and the global bankers, the European Bank, they they have something up their up their sleeves to keep it from dropping that fast for that long. Uh, it's just a, a rinse and repeat sort of thing. You got inflation, you got deflation, recession, boom. You're back in business, bull run. They say, uh, what is it? Uh, a bear market usually lasts like a year. Bull market lasts three to five. So, but we're, we're on like double or triple that scale, so. Yeah, we're due for the bear. But do you want a three to five year bear? <laughs> no, you don't. But the bull will be spectacular after the bear if we do get the multi-year bear market. So what's gonna happen to our NFTs, okay? As I said, a couple of vlogs back, the, The NFTs will retrace. I mean, uh, you can see 90% of NFTs are already retracing, but the apes, as I've stated repeatedly, the apes are the Bitcoins of NFTs. You want those Bitcoins? 
Now everyone wants an ape. Okay, <laughs> when did people say, hey, I want a big one? You're not saying that now. Oh, not snake season, just startled me. In a month or two, we'll get the snakes out at night. Maybe I can show you a snake. Um, sorry, so people want the apes, they don't want the Bitcoin, so it's ape season NFT. Uh, not full NFT season, but a lot of NFTs are doing well, like Moonbirds. Azukis are sort of floating along, and then you have stuff like NFT Worlds. Uh, okay, so there, there's going to be correction, definitely. But ape, apes should, uh, should actually be assets of the, as they prove now. They're not just speculative assets. Like art, actually, you see in the articles, art was the least susceptible to the bear market of 2007, 2008. It actually held their value and appreciated. I think it's gone up two to three X since then. Uh, so the, these NFTs, these apes, and they shouldn't lose their value as much. I mean, because it's crypto, because it's NFTs, they still might lose 75% of their value. I don't think they're going to lose 90%. They're, they're sitting at 137 ETH. I think they could go down to like 30 or 40 ETH. The market's really bad, but not much lower as people scoop them up at the end, end of the bear market. As the economy starts to recover, man, my shoulders are not strong enough to hold the camera this high for this long. Uh, yeah, and what's going to happen to Bitcoin? So Bitcoin will crash if equities totally neck, if NASDAQ loses 10,000 and uh, SP 500 goes down to as much as, I mean, it, it's pretty much assured it's going to lose 4,000 or 400, whatever you're looking at, but if it loses 3,000, wow. Anyway, it, it, it could send Bitcoin uh, back under 20,000, which was the previous, the 2017 bull run high, which has never happened. I mean, it, it might've happened once. You go back to like 2011, 2012, not sure. But, um, yeah, it could send us back under 20,000. But I don't think it's going to go much lower. Maybe a lot of people are saying 14,000 would be the, the bare bottom for Bitcoin. If, like, the SP500 goes down to 3,000 or so. Or even loses 3,000. I mean, it's, it's hard to make a one-to-one -one correlation like that. So that's something to be prepared for. Um, obviously, you want your dollars, even though they're gonna lose value. Um, buying Ape now at 137 ETH might not be the best play. The market's so tricky right now. Tricky as in not bear and not full, I mean, not bull and not full bear. Obviously, most people are weighted or slightly skewed t toward bear right now. So just, it's really risky if you don't have the capital. If you do have the capital, if you say you have like a thousand ETH right now, yeah, if you wanna buy one or two apes, go ahead as your big spend, that's only 30, 15 to 30% of your capital, go ahead. But <laughs> I want to deploy like 80% into an ape. Unless you're completely bored and you don't plan to make any dips during the bare bottom. Yeah, <laughs> there's, I'm laughing because I don't think this is going to happen. But there's a chance the SP500 never loses um, 4,000 and we don't go bear, but I don't think it's going to happen. Man, the grass is really wet. They, they usually run these sprinklers around midnight and my feet are just getting soaked. Uh, they think nobody's gonna be here, but guess what? The grinders are here. The capitalists, the entrepreneurs, they're here at the park after midnight. They're making a difference in this world. They're making the change. The change for good 
or a change for bad. A lot of things, they say nothing good ever happens after midnight, but I'd say nothing. Uh, uh, I don't know what to say. Something, uh, something. Sometimes you get really, really, really good things after midnight. If you know what I mean. A lot of people know what I mean. And I guess uh, I didn't say much. So I guess I can talk a little more. In the 2018 bear market, it was really shitty. We had coins <laughs> with no. <laughs> Everything, everything was a, uh, uh, oh, I can't think of the word. It's been so long. Uh, unit of exchange, a tool of exchange, a monetary, uh, uh, currency. Everything was a currency, a digital currency. There it is. And all these tokens could be used for this, that. They had a use, special kind of digital currency. Whether your value, um, your your performance, blah blah blah, you can get these digital tokens, and whether you wanted to tip, boom, currency, and then the bear market hit, and all these tokens went to zero, ninety nine percent or ninety eight percent, and they came back with DeFi in twenty twenty, uh, de decentralized finance. <laughs> it took me like a year before I figured out what the hell DeFi was. I mean, I was buying the coins, but I didn't even know what DeFi stood for. Uh, so, that was the narrative now. But we had so much more. It, this was bigger. They, they said we wouldn't get a 2017 again. Yeah, 2017 was pretty crazy. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Run for your lives. I spotted it early, like crypto. You buy, get in early, and then you can choose when you want to exit. So, oh yeah, tons of these DeFi Ponzi's and tons of narratives that you can just buy. In 2018, Bear didn't really have that. I mean, we're still, if you say 2022 and 2018 are the same, we still have like three months to go before we go deep Bear. So, <coughs> so maybe we don't have all these opportunities. We have the, we have the move to earn narrative, the ape, the the metal land sales nfts narratives we have a few narratives going at once here um so there's a lot of options to buy right now like the play to earn narrative is over now it's moved to earn and like vc nfts as a store of value what bitcoin is to the to the new capitalists NFTs are to the the newer capitalist zoomer. Anyway, there's always a new narrative. Uh, move to earn. <laughs> did you did you predict it? Did the greatest forecasters of our generation predict a move to to earn narrative? Um, I don't know. Anyway, I heard uh, that Korean guy. The Korean Twitter. So that's it. So you have a lot more opportunities right now, but in three months, there might be no more opportunities if normie markets and crypto craps the bed. Thanks for watching.